Okay, hello again. Um, a few days ago I posted a video about the built-in programs of the Astrocade, uh, one of which is a calculator, and I said if, if anyone had any, you know, really simple basic math problems they needed solved, uh, to post a comment, and the Astrocade would do them for you. So here are your answers, uh, provided by the Astrocade for you, and me, and us, and indeed the world. Uh, so let's get started. First up is Jom Jom1207. Uh, he wanted to know what 53 times 72 is. And uh, according to the Astrocade, that's 3,816. Uh, that's a really nice, robust number. You know, it's not too fancy, but it's just a good, solid, hearty number. Uh, so there you go, 3816. Next up is uh, Chainsaw U, who wanted to know uh, what 45 plus 34 is. And uh, that is 79. And that's an interesting math problem, because if you look at the two numbers, and you add the uh, digits diagonally, you know, 4 plus 4 equals 8, and 5 plus 3 equals 8. But the two numbers added together equals 79, uh, and 7 to 9 are the numbers that surround 8. So that's uh, quite a mystery there. That's very interesting. Math. Next up is Neil Flynn, who needed to know what 1001 times 8 equals, and it equals 8008, which uh, is a nice math problem, because you've got the symmetry of 1001, and it just takes it up 8, to 8008. It's like turning up the volume knob there. It's good, good math. I like it. Next is the Pirate Gamer Boy 12, who needs to know what 2000 times 5000 is, and that equals... What is that? Look at that thing. Look at all those zeros. What is that even a number? Do numbers get that big? I did, what what is that? How many zeros are there? Like 15. There's like 15 zeros. Uh, that's a huge number. I didn't even know I didn't even know things could get this crazy. I don't, I don't mean to get excited, but do you, do you see what I'm seeing? Well, like what is that? What is that? It's like I think it equals 10 super thousand. 2000 times 5000 is 10 super thousand. Oh. The next uh, math problem comes to us courtesy of Channel Swifts, who needs to know what 34 plus 8 is, and uh, that equals 42. That's a nice math problem. It's uh, after the last one we just saw. That's a really nice and humble number, uh, simple. I think it's like the answer to some great question of the universe. I'm not sure, but it's uh, you know a simple yet significant number. Next up, uh, Brock French wants to, uh, you know, bef before we get to this next problem, can we just go back a few to Neo Flynn's uh, question? Because uh, that, the answer, th there's just something about that. The 8,008, like, I, I, I can't place my finger on it. Um, but there's just something about that number that it's sticking, it sticks in my head. I, I, like, I, I can't stop considering what it could signify. I, I, I know this is going to sound crazy. But it's just kind of a bosomy number, you know? Just, I don't know. I know that's ridiculous. Just never mind. We'll, we'll keep going. Uh, we'll go on. We only got a couple problems left anyway, so we'll just, for, just forget that. Okay, next up is Brock French. He needs to know what 62 plus 66 is. And the solution to that math problem is 128. Which I really like that number, because that's like a really computery number. You know, it makes me think of when computers started to have like 128K. That was kind of a, a semi-big deal. Like you had the Commodore 128. The Atari 130XC, you know, expanded RAM. That was that was exciting time. So yeah, 128, I like it. it makes me think of old-timey computers, so cool. And uh, the last problem is from Tao Nakamura. And uh, he's the first one who needed something subtracted from something else. So that's cool. And he wanted to know what uh, 73 minus 21 equals, and it equals 52. Uh, not much to say about that, just it's nice to have some subtraction going on. It's a overlooked math technique. I don't know. It's just nice to have some subtraction. Good job. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for posting your math problems. I hope the Astrocade was able to help you out. In the future, if you need any more problems solved, you probably have to get your own Astrocade or find someone else with an Astrocade or, or use a pencil and paper because I think I'm retiring from the whole online solving of math problems using an Astrocade and posting the responses on YouTube genre. 
a video because there's just so many people doing that. There's just such a glut of content in that area that I just want to just want to focus more on the games and that type of stuff. Uh, waving around action figures, you know that that kind of cerebral content. But anyway, thank you again for posting, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is wrong. This is really, really wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this.